When talking about volume five of So I'm a Spider, So What? I think, again, reflecting on volume two, there were definitely a lot of big changes in my theories. And now looking at volume five, I think some of my theories have come true. And some of my thoughts that I hadn't even put in my videos also have come true as well. But there are definitely some things that are still changing constantly. And I think one of the things that's really kind of intrigued me is the admins or the gods whichever one you want to call them it does seem to be there is a different scale of power amongst them and it does seem to be there are some admins or gods that are much stronger than even d or particularly as i like to call him the knight because he seems to have some investments with the spider queen as well or the lolly spider and that's why he ended up deciding to help the lolly spider which then ended up sort of backfiring I think on him because of course the fact is is that our MC spider had a way of surviving that which then he in turn then approached did some you know communication with telepathy and then apologized and said you know I meant no harm you know he was doing a favor and of course I think he knows he's going to be in a lot of trouble once D finds out that he interfered so of course he gave the dragon body to of course the spider so that meant that of course the mc spider was able to get the food to then upgrade into a cross breed between a human and a spider and then of course the changes to the lolly spider or the spider queen it seems to be her personality has changed which meant that they ended up signing a truce because of course the spider queen is scared that every time she thinks she's defeated the mc the mc just comes back stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger so i think it's kind of one of those situations where it's like yes i'm annoyed that you know you killed one of my friends and someone that was close to me but i'd rather have you an ally than as a enemy and now that there is no longer a communication barrier issue they're able to communicate and basically go okay let's work together there's also the whole thing with the vampire baby as well and of course the robbers which then ended up being the elves and that's what i meant by my theory that's probably not 100 percent solid because i honestly thought the elves were trying to take the place of the admins but <sighs> there was a thing about the whole technology that destroyed the world and I, I think there's still a lot of mystery wrapped in that because it wasn't giving too much information but it seemed to be that the elves were using mechanical stuff and that was one thing of course that was quite prevalent was that one of the elves was using a mechanical body like a mecha suit to try and kill of course the mc spider which then of course lolly spider popped up and went stomp you dead and that solved the issue so there seems to be something going on with the elves the elves clearly think that the admins are gaining power through some effort but i actually think they're lying about that and i think they know the truth and they're not misled they are just misleading people and they've got something much more deeper and nefarious planned maybe it's still a controlling thing maybe they're trying to you know push down a certain path to gain you know supremacy and control but it also seems to be they have a bit of an ego and a butt issue and they see other races as inferior as well particularly of course humans and demons so something's going on with the elves I, it's still a lot of mystery because the thing is is the elves are saying one thing to the humans and the teacher and then they're kind of showing another thing and then of course the other students that have apparently taken the side of the admins have basically said oh so you don't know hey and that's what i'm that in my original theory that i never spoke about too much which i did a little bit was that there was always going to be a conflict between the students it was going to be students versus students and i stand by that and clearly that is going to be the case and i mean it's already happening students are fighting students but it seems to be that the ones on the demon lord side know something about the elves that the others which i call them the hero group and it's kind of a contradiction but it's really funny i'll talk about that in a sec that they seem to not know what's going on with the elves but what i mean by the contradiction with the heroes is that one thing that i honestly stopped i think about six tenth of the way like 60 percent way through the volume and i kind of closed it and i sat there and i thought to myself there's one thing that this kid has not done and of course that's the hero himself and I sat there and I said, one thing that he has not done that he should have done. Asked the question, why? He's fighting his own classmates. Okay, yeah, 
douchebag of the century, Hugo, whatever you want to call him, I get it, he was going wonkos, but you can clearly see those that are on the admins or the demon lord side, they've got all their sanity up there, they're not crazy, they know what they're doing, they've made a decision for a reason, so why hasn't this hero kid asked, or any of these kids on the hero side asked the question of why, why are you doing this? Because I think if he found out why they're doing this, I think he would probably be more reluctant to want to help the elves because it's so clear that the elves are shady. It's so clear that the elves are up to something. And it's not just a matter of a perspective from a reader. For God's sake, it's on the perspective of the bloody kids as well. You can clearly see the kids is questioning these elves. So why continue to blindly go in there and just follow these elves word for word and go, all right, we'll do everything you say, even though you clearly don't like us, you clearly have a disdain for us, and you're clearly mistreating us, and you're going to obviously backstab us and just dispense of us once you're done, but yeah, we'll just blindly keep helping you. That is the part that's frustrating me about these kids, as I call them the heroes, but it's I call them the heroes, the hero team or the heroes, because it's a contradiction. They're not heroes, they're just blind children pretending to be knight in shining armor trying to save the world because I don't even think they understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. They're just doing it because they think they're heroes. And I don't know if that's deliberate or not of the story because it kind of just feels like it's just showing what blind faith does, like someone that just walks into a situation and goes, oh, I'm the hero, so I'm clearly in the right. And it was kind of obvious at one point when they were fighting, and even though they knew they were at a disadvantage, they knew they were being toyed with, but they still went, no, we must fight for the bitter end. We can overcome this because we are the ones in the right and we have friendship and power and all the rest. And it's like, no, you're just an idiot. You're just an idiot. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know why you're fighting. And I don't know if this is all just in my head or if this is just the, my perspective of the light novel, if the light novel is trying to make me think this because it's going to throw another curveball. But I just, I had to stop the volume and just think to myself, why are you doing this? Why are you fighting these other kids from the classroom? Okay, I get it, Hugo, he was going wonkos. Clearly there was a couple of fries short of a Happy Meal inside of his head, he was just going wonko. Something was wrong. But the other students, clearly they have a motive, they have a reasoning. So why not ask the question of why you're doing it and actually get the other perspective? It's almost like this, this other team is just going in there thinking, well, clearly we're in the right and we're better than you, so yeah, we're going to fight. Honestly, these kids are no better than the elves because they're own blindsided by their own ego and their own lust to feel like they're a hero. So, oh, I just, I don't know where that's going to go. It's, I'm still digesting a lot of that component of the light novel. But of course, Hugo goes in there. He basically ends up getting defeated. Of course, the other students rock up. They basically stir everything up. And then, of course, the teacher has this ability to know when a student is going to die or if they're alive or not based on their ability. And then they find out that another particular student is actually alive when on her thing, it actually says that she's dead. So everyone's shocked because they're like, oh my God, she's actually really alive. I'm going to make one note here. I know why, I know the spoiler, I blame the people jumped into my comment section trying to spoil it, but I'm not going to say anything, I'm deliberately avoiding that conversation because I know something about that, but it's still an interesting revelation to see how the actual kids respond to that, but then of course, I think what I was most invested in with the story was of course the interaction between the lolly spider and the MC spider and how they decided to end up teaming up together and I'm curious to see where that story goes because you've also got the vampire baby which of course has matured and is now fighting for them as well and she's really powerful and I mean really 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 powerful like she just walks all over these other kids so what I'm curious about from all of this and I just don't know if if it's going to happen or not, is that will the heroes or the hero group actually join the Demon Lords or are they going to keep fighting the Demon Lords? That's the question I have in my head. I don't want it to be spoiled. I want to see what happens because I don't know. 
to be honest, I actually think they're just going to keep fighting the Demon Lord because they're just blindsided by their own lust to feel like they're their heroes. But that's what I really love about the light novel, because it frustrates me. It frustrates me that these kids are just stupid. But at the same time, I'm addicted to the light novel because I want to see what happens to them because they're so stupid. That's what I love about the light novel. And I just don't know if it's all in my head how I'm perceiving the light novel or if this is how other people perceived it when they first read it. Again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below, but if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more anime content, and I'll see you, beautiful nerds, in the next video.